I'm back again with another reading. Today, this reading is going to be about what's going on in your life right now and why. Why all those things happening, what's going on right now, and that and that and that. You get it. Number one, we got five bottle cups. One, two, three, four, and five. Choose one. Let's start with number one. Number one, what's going on in your life right now? I feel like you, things are messy. You don't know. It's like it's not messy, but you don't know. You're not sure anymore if it's this thing, this thing or that one or that one or that one. Which one is it? Like, should you go this way or this way? Like, you're not, you're confused where to go. And I feel like there's like a something flying in front of you, above you, and it's coming toward you. And all you need to do is look up the spirit sign. I'm not sure where you need to look up but maybe something is on uh, the first floor or something is up there on the, if you like live in a building on the roof or uh, you need some air also, per se. You need to pray and have some faith in them also. That means like, yeah, just have some faith. It will come to you, per se, and it will come to you. Just have some faith. Also, for some of you, I feel like things keep slipping out of your hand. Like you, like you got no control over things anymore. And it's like they slip away. It's like you, you think that you got it, yeah? This is the one, or this is the thing, or this is it. And then this thing slip away. It's like, what the fuck? What, what just happened? Like this thing just slipped away. Like things keep slipping away or you throw them away. See, one scenario slipping out of your hand. Other scenario, you throw things because you're like... I thought it's a diamond. No, it's just like, I don't know what, glass from, I don't know, a homeless man, beer, something like that. It's like, what? How did I not see that? And then you throw it on the wall. It's like that. It's like you keep all the fake things and you think they're real and stuff like that. I was just saying, just be hopeful and wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. It's saying just wait for it and be hopeful. We know that you frustrated. Just like be hopeful and have faith in it. And uh, something. Also, you're working on something. So we're saying just keep having faith in it and things will work out. Let me drink my coffee. Just woke up. Number two, what's going on in your life? Number two, for some of you, you're getting, you're getting bad karma, like because of something. I'm not sure if you're not aware of it, but you did something like bad, or maybe you're aware of it, and now you're getting, like, don't know, be like, what? But you're getting bad karma for something you did. And that's why those things happen, because you did something in the past for someone. Like, you know what it is, I'm hearing someone laughing here. You did something bad for someone, and you're getting karma. That's why this shit happened to you right now. So once you deal with it and you know what, why you get on those things that now happening to you, then things will go away. Don't worry about it. It's pretty sad. Also, you're not a bad person. You just needed to know what you did was wrong. And number two. Number three. What's happening in your life right now? Number three. You got two options, and you think there's three options, but there's two only options, per se. There's only two options, this or that. And where the hell did you make the third, the third door, per se? Per se, are you trying to run away from the options or making a decision, making a third door? We just put two doors for you, either that or that. Like, so choose one door, like a one decision. And then you made the third decision, and you go rest on it. What the hell's percent? Delete that the door and just go with the two options and deal with them. I'm not sure what two options. Also, I see someone got got stinky feet. I'm not sure what stinky feet. I'm seeing a lot of stinky things those days. If your feet are stinky, go wash them. I'm not sure what you did. Are you maybe you're sweaty? Are you go wash them? Spirit saying go wash your feet. They're stinky. Also, what I see here is. You got a flag around you or you're going to travel somewhere that you're going to like this country. The new country that you're going to, you're going to like, you're going to love a lot. I feel like you're holding their flag and you're just like uh, taking souvenirs and stuff like that. I'm not sure what is it, but for some of you, I see that traveling coming towards you. And we're saying those things happen to you for you to, uh, to know how to deal with things and to make a decision so we can give you the next step so you move forward. Like, take a decision. Do not be, like, sitting down, like, stinky feet, choosing a, a third door. 
that's not there. Also, Spirit Zion, just move your ass, okay? Number four, what's going on in your life? What's, why the shit happening? Number four, you're complaining like shit and Spirit hearing you. Like you say, Spirit, the fuck is going on? Spirit, I thought you were telling me this this boy is my soulmate. Oh, this girl is my soulmate. Spirit, Spirit, what's going on? Spirit, really? Spirit, Spirit, like, laughs at you a lot. Telling you, number four. You're complaining like shit. And then you're like, and then you fight with someone. And you're like, Spirit, again? You know, I prayed for that. Or you know that I wish that I found the right one. And now I meet this one. And it's again a karmic. Or it's again a lesson. Spirit, why you keep doing this shit to me? I feel like you're complaining to Spirit like that. Like, Spirit, what the hell is going on? Spirit laughing at you. You're doing something around the house. You're funny as fuck, Spirit saying. You're funny as fuck, you know, that you're funny. Spirit wanna, like, record you. Not Spirit, Spirit do you record? But they, they say, like, if they were, like, here and others, like, it, like us, they will record you, what you do inside the house, and they will post it on YouTube. The fuck, Spirit? And lately, it's very, been real funny. And it's really, it's very, it's very, it's really hilarious. Like, I sometimes I laugh with them, and people think I'm crazy just laughing alone. But yeah, it's very when I record what you do inside the house, you complain, and you're like, okay, Spirit, I love you, but like, next time at least give me a warning. I told you, this is the right one. And he said, yes, this is the right thing to do. And then you go do it. And then it's like, Spirit, is there another trick? Like that, Spirit is laughing at their ass out, their ass out, seriously. Is it ass out or ass off? Because ass out is like really nasty. I'm not sure. But also what I see here for number four. Number four is Spirit saying something good is going to come towards you in a week or two. That you're going to feel happy about the thing that they will give you. Something stable, something about a house party, house welcoming party, or the, either you move in a new house or something like that, a, a, a party, someone gonna welcome you somewhere. The first sign, no, they didn't give you anything wrong, or just something wrong with the with those motherfuckers. I was very saying that you needed to learn stuff, like, that's why, like, you needed to learn things and to realize things, so, about yourself, so, in order for you to be better, also. I was very saying that, Sometimes you, you're really irrational and you don't think with your head, you just think with your pussy or your dick. Spirit, really? You wanna tell them then? Yeah, it's like that's why they wanna like, wanna t like make you feel what's the difference and what is that, what is that. And it's like that. They think that you are a horny motherfucker. Spirit saying that. Spirit, what about number four? There's a lot of shit. Spirit, what? It's really playing a lot of game on number four, I'm telling you. It's really laughing their, their ass off. Number five, what's going on in your life? Number five. Number five, there's nothingness. You feel nothingness. There's nothingness around you. There is nothing. There, you feel like there's nothing going on in your life. Your life is boring. Your life, oh, some, it's a general reading for some of you are depressed or you're sad. And you're like, what's going on? Everything is gone. Everyone is gone. I feel nothing. There's nothing. I feel like you're facing your shadow, and everywhere you look, it's your shadow. It's like you look here, and it's your shadow. You look there, and it's your shadow. If you have to face your darkest fear. That's what spirit are uh, telling you. You're going to face your shadow side, face everything you're going through, a healing, you awaken your soul, and that's what's happening. That's why you everywhere you, you turn, it's your shadow side. It's like... Shadow, shadow, where's the sun? I was like, really? So we are forcing you to deal with those issues inside of you. Deal with them. Deal with them. Spirit saying, deal with them. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. It's just a shadow. Are you scared of your own shadow? It's like when a little cat just jumps because she sees her own shadow. Spirit, not laughing at you, but they say you can do it. So deal with your shadow work and do it, okay? Thank you for watching.